Yeah, that was um, <laughs> from a coaching perspective very relieved. It's been a it's been a long journey. Uh, this, the whole tournament's been great. You know, being over here and uh, the players. I'm just so happy for the players. You know, so they put the effort in. They bought into everything and. Uh, really happy with you know the end result for us. It's probably something we shouldn't comment on. Seriously, we we always won the World Cup, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the probably at the top to be honest. To be able to uh, captain our country to a World Cup vic victory, it's um, yeah, it probably hasn't set in as much now, but. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty surreal to be honest. I added at Old Trafford, winning a World Cup final. Not many, not many people were able to say they could do that. So, yeah, just a special um, period over here, six, seven weeks. Special group of folks, <coughs> staff. We all just got along from the from the start, and you know, we yeah, to be able to celebrate with the victory now at the end of all that. So, um, yeah, it's really special. I need two that's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just happy that we could win. That's all. That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to lead us to a World Cup victory. That was the goal at the start when we came into camp, and um, yeah, I'm just happy we could do that now and celebrate together. Oh, I'm excited for the players, you know, and that's the whole big focus. You know, I've been really happy with the whole group, and uh, the staff have been excellent, you know, um, for the whole the whole time, and. For the players, I feel you know, this, this is their moment, you know, they, they put in so much hard work. It's not just these last seven weeks, it's the reason they're there is because they've played so well over you know, a long period of time. Um, you know, it's been a tough, arduous year, um, you know, not only in the, in the NRL as well as Origin and things like that to come out and produce that. Uh, that effort, the effort was just tremendous, you know, and um, from Teddy's point of view, I mean, he's, he's led the side really, really well through the whole tournament. Um, his preparation, you know, particularly this week, has been excellent. And not only the two tries, but he got the, the man of the match as well. So, you know, thoroughly deserves it. And the players, all the players, thoroughly deserve the effort they put in, you know, for the whole through the whole time we've been here. <coughs> oh, I thought he was excellent. <coughs> Yeah, not many people expect it except us. It's been ridiculous, to be honest with you. The the um, the banter that's been going on. But you know, I mean, we have we have belief in our in, in our team and what we're doing. And um, he was exceptional tonight. Oh, like you made it the tournament as a whole. Do you think he's like sugar? He's such a little bit. It should be. It should be. Well, absolutely. You <laughs> know, uh, but I'm in a position where I can say that. You know, so you know. I'm, <laughs> I'm coach of the, you know, the World Cup winners, and um, I kind of hope, like I've said many times, last, and particularly in the last few days, where you know, where to from now? You know, I thought the, the whole tournament was excellent, with good showpiece. The final was great. Um, just shows where the national game is going to. To have Samoa in there, which is you know great for our, great for the international game. So you know, I'm looking forward to you know the decision makers making our next decision about where we go to. <coughs> Seriously? Yeah, that's Yeah, my view is that he was he was he should have stayed on the field. You know, it was just silly. But you know, we, we topped it. And to be honest with you, we handled it we handled it really, really well. And I mean that's nearly our best was it our best ten minutes of the game where defensively we were outstanding. And we just kept on turning up for each other, you know. And that's that's the, the nature of this this footy team, you know. This is this is only the beginning of this this team. I can assure you, you know. Um, all these guys are going to be together, you know, over the next three, four, five, six years, you know. So um, and then come up with points, you know, beat to go to score six points in that period was exceptional. That's how good this footy team is, eh? <coughs> You scored 52 tries in the tournament, but you only conceded eight. That must be the part of the most, probably. Absolutely, we talked about that at half time, didn't we? You know, it's about about defence. You know, I mean, we scrambled really well the early early parts of that game. Samoa threw everything at us. We handled really well. We come back with more energy. We were right on top at, at half time. You know, so all the things that we we wanted to do, I, th I thought you know we did, and um, 
second half they're scrappy, yeah, but again, defensively outstanding again. No, nah, we um yeah, we just soaked it all in, I think. To be out here at Old Trafford, yeah, we didn't I don't think we had many uh supporters out there cheering us on, but that's all part of the experience. We didn't expect many uh support over in England in a World Cup final, so that was it was good, we enjoyed it. Do you think it's a sign of how good this Kangaroo's team is? You know, really one of the the great sports sides in the world. Take any sport, you've been record over four years, it's not 90%. Um, it's, a, it's a very proud record for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the last three years we haven't been able to play, we haven't been able to put this jersey on and uh, represent Australia. So it was, a, <clears throat> it was burning, I think, for a lot of guys to come over this World Cup and, and represent well. And yeah, we, we did that. So hopefully our. Um, Hopefully our rankings have gone up a bit now after after the tournament. Aside from tournaments like this, Mark, would you like to see the return of the Kangaroos or the... Yeah, well, we, we had that all organised, yeah, but COVID interfered with all that. You know, so, you know, without um, you know, saying too much, it's, it, it was all organised prior. So we were, we were coming over in, in, 20, in 2020, you know, so, um, like I said, we, we need that window opportunity, we need the schedule, you know, obviously discussed and... And um, and to work towards, you know. So, but yeah, um, we can only you can only, we can only deal with the, with the cards you dealt with, you know. So That's we, years, maybe. yeah, well, hopefully, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'd like to hear the decision on what happens next for this team sooner rather than later, rather than sort of hanging on wait for where we <coughs> Well, I think I think the national rugby league got to sit down before the end of the year. That's that's what I gather from all this, you know. So hopefully they do that and we. We have some sort of schedule we organised for you know around the beginning, beginning of next year. Now, what we're talking about, we're speaking of the All Blacks and these great players. Surely, this can bruise under you. Deserve to mention the same records, the greatest national sport. We go back, we go back, Reedy, you know, to the late seventies, you know, early seventies, you know, with the with the Kangaroos. When you talk about ninety percent um, winning record, um, it's been a it's been you know a dominant dominant time for an Australian team um, and we I think we accept that really well you know as a as a group of group of players um, putting a green gold jersey on you know the expectations that we win tournaments you know so we we it's not a burden to us we, we carry that I think you know with great humility and respect uh, we want to put the green gold jersey we understand that you know uh, everybody does want to see us win except for the <coughs> most, most ardent you know, Australian supporters but you know we accept that and we get on with business. Uh, earlier, though, you were um, talking about both and Have you found this sort of fun? Have you found this successful? Have you found this sort of fun? I get great satisfaction out of laughing, you know. Um, so I think, I think it's been, in my experience, one of the happiest groups that I've been involved with. You know, they really bought in it right from day, day one. And you know, Teddy made a really good speech, you know, early in, in the piece around, around it being connected, everyone connected. And um, I think we achieved that really, really well. And you know, regardless of whether you played the 17 tonight, um, you, know, you go to that dressing room. It's a tight group, and everyone's you know, proud of what they've achieved. Oh, I just said no matter how old you are, how many games of experience you had, we're all we're all equal, and we all want to um, yeah, just get that connection with those guys I haven't played with before, um, guys who haven't played for Australia before, and just yeah, just wanted to make it we're us all equal and. Um, if you have if you had something to input for the team, then don't be don't be shy. It's all, it's all just get that connection high, whether it's on, on the training field or um, you know going for a beer or going for coffee. Make sure we all stay together, and I think you know by the end of it, they're, they're, they're lifelong friendships that will, will hold forever. So um, the whole experience was just uh, just really enjoyable. Yeah, it's been, you know, a great, um, a great rise for the for women's rugby league, really, um, and it sort of coincided, you know, with um, you know back in 2016, and obviously the girls, you know, heavily involved. We we've always mixed in really well. Um, understand um, the importance, you know, of playing for your country, and yeah, um, they played extraordinarily well tonight. Uh, played, you know, played to their utmost. 
best when it really mattered, you know. So, but yeah, really, pr really proud and pleased for what they achieved tonight. Brad said that you would be a better player to support him and the team 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 you know, so I love the game of rugby league, and I want the game of rugby league to prosper. And it, it, there's a, you know, we're all well we equal, we're all inclusive. You know, so that's what our game delivers for everyone. You know, so it doesn't discriminate tonight. And, and it's good to see, you know, the skill. I mean, you know, back in '16 to where the the, the women's game is now is is, is the extraordinary um, you know, steps forward have been, you know, great to see. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Nathan's such a high quality player, and everyone at the start of the tournament was calling me the best player. But then, he, but then by the end of it, people are bagging him. So I don't really, <laughs> I don't really understand yeah. some of the comments um, that, that come at Nathan. But mate, it's one of the best players in the world. He showed it tonight. So hopefully, you guys can encourage that and appreciate that.